For every 1,000 likes on today's video, I'll be donating $10 to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, an organization to help prevent animals from being treated wrongfully. The hardest thing in the world is probably saying goodbye to loved ones, and we all know animals love their owners more than themselves. In today's video, we'll be counting down dogs saying goodbye to their dying owners. This is awful, super sad, terrible. No words can describe how sad this is. This dog is having some health problems and is having to be put down. The family is holding the dog as a painless and quick procedure happens. Their puppy is going to be in a better, non-painful place. This is the hardest thing in the world for anyone to do. Thank <laughs> you. This dog's owner is in the hospital, and he's not going to be making it out. The family members brought the dog in so they could say their last goodbyes together. This is honestly the saddest thing there ever is. You can see the puppy's eyes that they don't want to leave their owner's side. This little girl Nora, 5 months old, ended up getting a second mother, her dog Gracie she took on the roll. If Nora would cry, Gracie would be there to give her security. Their final wish was to have Gracie and their dogs go to the hospital to give their daughter some comfort. Once the dogs got there, Gracie ran to Nora and licked her. This right here is the definition of true love, the bond between an animal and a person. This dog's name is Bosco. And this dog goes and sneaks away to his owner's grave and has been sleeping on their owner's grave for a very long time. Some people will try and actually end up getting Bosco and taking them in, but he ends up sneaking out somehow still and getting back on top of the grave. This is amazing how he can still sense him, even though he's gone. This is Bosco and Bosco, Bosco's owner died quite some time ago and Bosco keeps coming up here sleeping on his master's grave. You know, we come up here and Bosco's just hanging out. Some of us in the neighborhood feed Bosco, give him water and stuff. But look at look at him, it looks horrible. Some people tried taking Bosco home, but he just jumped through a window and came back. Sleeps here every night. It's sad. This husky is crying on the grave of their owner. And when I say crying, I mean this is so hard to watch. And I truly feel so bad for the husky. We miss her too. George H.W. Bush had a service dog named Soli. Before passing away, this dog was with him 24-7 and they've created a bond that is unbreakable. On the day of George's funeral, his dog Soli was there to honor him and was a part of the walk around his casket. This dog will miss him forever. The dog even received a golden award and now has his own statue. We're going to cut over right now and head back to Capitol Hill, the Capitol Rotunda. And you will see right there is Sully H.W. Bush. He is President George H.W. Bush's service dog. 
the companion that has been with President Bush since the passing of Barbara Bush. Um, someone who's uh, a companion who's be, been um, very important to President Bush in, in his final days. And this was and this was a moment and this was a moment that um, a lot of folks were waiting for to see if Sully would come to see the president. We do remember that the president's spokesman had tweeted out a photograph of Sully laying before the president's casket. It's about the man himself as well. You have people who benefited from the Americans with Disabilities Act who have been coming up over as well. I believe I the group is right supposed there. to come in. Yeah, That's I think exactly they might, right. Yeah, they might be think, right. Some of them might be right there um, with Sully. Right, right yes, there. Yes. Yeah, so. I, I believe they were coming in around the same time. You have military leaders from Desert Storm. You have people involved in the Points of Light organization, which meant so much to President Bush. You have people involved with this charitable uh, foundation as well. So you have this kind of whole scope and breadth of, of what President Bush, not just the man from the Oval Office or the man who led the CIA or was an ambassador to the UN, uh, but really the entire scope of his life kind of coming to the forefront. Obviously, last night there was the memorial service. Tomorrow, everybody will be paying attention to the Nath National Cathedral. But today, when you combine those groups coming in, plus, again, the ordinary people who, Kate, I, I rolled in this morning around 4.35 a.m., talked to the Capitol Police. They said there had been people coming in throughout the night, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., to pay their respects to Capitol Rotunda. Imagine how empty that dog feels now and everyone paying its respects and the dog walking with all the wounded and just the disabled military people or just individuals out there, which is so amazing. I really want to go and show you guys actually where President Bush's dog solely actually gets the bronze statue because it's absolutely amazing to see something like this and i think you guys really appreciate it as well i'm actually saving one more right after this one that is super sad you guys so stay tuned for that but anyways let me go and show you this statue a statue fit for a hero sully the service dog standing tall at a special unveiling ceremony ahead of veterans day this bronze life-size statue a symbol of his unwavering service to my grandfather fiercely loyal until the very end. It's wonderful um, credit to all service dogs, but even though Sully is a celebrity service dog, I think so many of our clients see a little bit of their dog every time they see Sully. These dogs are truly heroic, aren't they? I think they are, and I think every recipient who's ever had a service dog from us feels that they are heroes and that they're life-changing. I witnessed firsthand the care and companionship Sully gave our precious Gampy. This family is saying their last goodbyes to their dog. This is probably one of the saddest clips I've ever seen in my entire life. So stay tuned and watch the full clip, if you can. Smash the like button guys, let's donate as much money as we can in today's video. Also click on another video on the screen right now to continue watching more videos very similar to this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.